Hello and good day to you. Today's video we'll be making a coconut cake and then decorating the cake with coconut buttercream frosting or icing. And we also need baking powder. That's because of the thickness of the coconut cream. We want our cake to be a little bit um, light and fluffy. For the equipment, as usual, we're using the Tifa mixer. Just plug it. We need a pizza. Just put some things on the side so that I can ask it for. We need a spatula. Sorry. Our palette knife. We need a palette knife. I'm using angled. You can use a straight. You can use angled. I have a straight one here. can use a straight one if you want to or you can use the angled one depending on what you desire we need a spatula this and we need a mixing bowl because this will help us to with the spatula to remove our mixture from inside the bowl we need a sieve to see both icing and flour we need our scale so that we can we need our scale a baking dish a uh, baking pan i'm using this glass baking dish this will be my baking pan for today for the cake i just want to make a small one and of course we need our oven So I'll just separate the, I'll remove this unit off. Then put the oven on, on the, from the wall before we start. So I'm going to put half of the unsalted butter before I put it this is 170 grams of sugar you can reduce yours if you desire then I'll add the butter I want 250 grams of butter so I'm putting half salted, half unsalted. You can go with just unsalted. I just prefer mixing mine. Then I'll just put as, as it's mixing over there. With the unsalted, I will grease the baking pan ready. So I just put it in and grease the baking pan.
little flour over it. So I'll take a little flour. Adding a little flour over it will enable it will enable the cake to re it to release when it's cooked. It won't stick to the pan. And then we tap out the While it's still mixing, while the butter is mixing, just set our scale. I'll be doing 500 grams of flour, so I'll sift that in. I'm going to put about um, so I'm going to put about a spoonful of a spoonful I'm going to see within a spoonful of baking powder This is because of the coconut cream, you know, it's thick. We are using self raising flour and we just add a spoonful of um, baking powder. and we'll mix it.
just put this aside while we bring our mixer closer eggs but I'll break them separately that's because in case one is bad I'll be able to save the butter or the mixture add the one after the other Just increase the speed of them. And then here's our coconut cream. Here's our coconut cream. I'm going to make sure that I don't take the water along. I just want only the thick part of the cream. You can see the water. I don't want uh, the water. I can see. I'm not taking the water. I'm just taking the thick part of the cream. Let's see if we can save some. Okay, that's enough. You can use it to cook rice. You can use it uh, to mix ice cream. To flavor dishes. So I'm going to add that. And I'm going to mix this first. And then we'll add the cream. I'll just add a little flour that's about three spoons of flour and then I'll add the cream because I don't want it to cuddle
Okay, let me just add some of the flour. So I'll add some of the flour to it. And then mix. If it's getting hard, I'll add milk before I add the remaining flour. Add, I'll add milk you can measure your milk if you want to but I'll just use um I'll look at the mix I'll use the mixture to gauge it the remaining flour and then we'll add milk to lighten it a bit I've used half of the thing and um, the thing is about 410 is the thing is 410 grams so I've used half of it that's I've used 205 grams of milk so just have to make sure it's mixing properly because I want it to act as if it's folding the flour I, like when you're doing hand mixing you use the spatula to fold in the flour to trap the air or to trap the yeah to trap the air
to you can add the desiccated coconut if you have some fresh ones or you want to use um, store-bought ones you can add it now but I have a very I have very little desiccated coconuts because I've added the coconut cream I'll use this one this is the only pack I have so I'll be using it for the decorating that's to decorate with the buttercream I mean I use it with the buttercream to decorate the cake that's why I'm not adding any in here but if you have you can if you have more you can add some in there you can add some in the mixture sorry for just saying in there <laughs> in the mixture so cake is mixed I'm just going to check it a little to make sure it's thoroughly mixed So I'm just going to spoon to thoroughly make that. And I'd love to put some in <laughs> cupcake if it's too much. Well, let me just see. I'll put this remaining one in a cupcake so that I can test it <laughs> before I start icing in cupcake cases. So. Have some muffin cases here. Before that, <laughs> let me smooth in this. So I'll leave that. <laughs> And I'll put this in the oven. Oven is set to, sorry I didn't say that in the beginning. Oven is set to 150 degrees Celsius. Um, I'm using an electric oven. I didn't say this from the beginning, I'm sorry about that. The oven is set to 150 degrees Celsius. That is gas mark to 300 degree Fahrenheit. I'm using an electric oven, so mine is set to 150 degrees Celsius. If you are using gas, it's gas mark two, and if yours is on Fahrenheit, it's 300 degree Fahrenheit. 
So our cake is ready. I'll just turn it over so that I have a nice upper work surface. You can also use the serrated knife or bread knife to cut, trim it so that you have a leveled um, you have a leveled surface and or it's flat on the work surface. But since I'm the one going to eat it, I don't want to cut it. <laughs> I'm going to eat everything. All right. So to make our um, when I remove the cake from the um, baking thing, that's a glass baking dish. I allowed it to cook on I allowed it to cool on a wire rack. So if you take a look, I'll just go closer on the cake and you see some marks on it that's the mark of the wire rack on it. We allowed it to cool. You can see those lines on the cake. So now that is cooled. It's time for me to decorate it and to decorate I'll be using the icing sugar unsalted butter you can mix it to salted I just have um, a little unsalted here that's why but I have salted here too I would have um, just taken a little from it here let me mix it okay. I just need this one. Don't want to open those new ones. So I'll just use this unsalted. So if you want to mix like me, sometimes you can do that. So this is unsalted. And we have the desiccated coconut. We have the powdered icing. I'll take and put the cake to one side so that we can start working. We need a, a palette knife. It can be straight or angled. Just use the one to feel comfortable with it. So this is a straight one. That's a straight one and this is an angled one. Now I'm using the angled one. So I'll need to save. And we'll also be using the mixer. Sorry, I, I know I mentioned that earlier on in the video. Mix use we'll be using the mixer and the beater. The same thing we use for the to make the cake. We're going to use it to mix the icing or the frosting. Just going to put this. We just need a little for the cake. So what I normally do due to the dust they do raise sorry the yeah the power the powder to raise it's time so I'll just use the spoon and you can see that is uh, just use a spoon and instead of heating it and having to breathe in sugar you can do that and you reduce the amount of uh, particles in the air
that's one seven to six. This two. Let me make it two fifty. Alright, that's done. Um, more than 250. So I'm going this two seventy. I just want it to be two fifty. That's two forty five. Okay, let's make it two forty. Okay, that's fine. Two forty. So pour it in the mixing bowl. Add that butter. I didn't mention the butter. Okay, that's about uh, no matter the butter is 250 grams, so half of it is 125. So I just put it 125 and I'll be gentle. And I'll, I use a low setting.
So that's it fully thoroughly mixed. Just need to get uh, and we have our cake here. If you can see it's a bit stiff, that's how I want it, but not too stiff. We don't want it running and we don't. We just want to use it to cover the surface of the cake so that we can pl uh, put a uh, so that we have something like a glue for we have something like a glue for the coconut to stick to Concentrate on our cake. Because of the surface I'm using, it's a bit slippery on it. So, um, I should have used the one I used last time. Because it's um, a ceramic saucer. Just place it on it. <laughs> they see a bit slippery. Cake is trying to slide out of the uh, the flat ceramic plate. So, so, so I'm just going to make sure I'm extra careful. One of the issues is because of the I didn't trim it, so it's not balanced, so it's sliding to one side.
So even if you're using ceramic plates, you know, you have to make it you have to make it flat so that it don't slide. If you want to make it smooth, you can use uh, warm water. Just you don't need to put it in water. Just put the knife, the pallet knife over warm water, and you glide it over. If it's wet, you clean it. You don't want water in your icing; it will start melting. So just put it over. You want that heat, that warmth there. And uh, once you get the warmth, you can now um, put the knife over the cake, over the icing, and it will be very smooth. You just try and adjust it. <laughs> it's not adjusting. Okay, skips to one side. I should have trained the butter, but I didn't want to. Just want to eat everything. Without having to cut. So I've covered it and uh, what I need to do next is to get the desiccated coconut. Ah. 
Sweet, sweet talk. So I just sprinkle it. If you don't want to do it like so, you can also mix the ice, the coconut with the icing. That's all right to do. Just trying to cover some of this side. Wow, see the ones I wasted. <laughs> see how much I wasted. So just going to use this one I have to be careful so that I don't fold the cake <laughs> so. can tap off excess if you want to so I'm just going to lightly Tap off the S's so I hold the cake. So here, our coconut cake. Put this in a separate bag. Just put this one. Why I'm separating it from the ones in the pack is because you know it has already touched the cake and maybe a little one must have touched buttercream icing 
and just to remind myself that these ones touch the cake so I have to separate them if not they might they may spoil the ones in the pack So here's our coconut cake decorated to celebrate February's birthday. So here's our coconut cake to celebrate March birthdays. Happy birthday to you. birthday match babies we wish you many happy returns from your friend crafters tv